here's the car we'll be working on today. It's a 2012 Honda CRV all-wheel drive. Four cylinder. We'll be doing oil change as well as just brake inspection. The car has almost 60,000 miles on it. So let's get started. Open the oil filler cap. We're also going to inspect the drive belt and uh, the air filter. Pulled out the cover for the air filter. There's basically one clip here, one here, and one here, and then it just pops out. And here's the air filter. I can see it's fine on this side, but when you turn it to this side, and you can see how dirty it is so for now let's just put it back okay. and now it's all in place so one clip here just want to show you really quick so here's this clip and then the last one is as you can see it's down there so. yeah that's how it looks all right so let's see how's the drive belt I don't think it was ever replaced on this car. Mainly you're looking for cracks. And uh, it kind of looks old. But it might still be okay. Like a small uh, splash shield underneath. We're not gonna remove the whole thing. But there's this metal one, like you can see here, and uh, we're gonna use the uh, Phillips screwdriver, and I'm just gonna remove it. Just So this should be the last fastener. Now we should be able to just pull it forward. Pretty much. Now let me just take it off. So it looks like. Alright. And there's gonna be your filter and your plug. So. For the drain plug, it's going to be a 17 mil. The drain plug is loose. And right now I'm just trying to align my pan here for the oil. And uh, all right, my light doesn't want to stay.
All right, there's my oil. Don't lose the gasket. So after the oil drains, uh, we're gonna remove that uh, oil filter there. All right. A zero W twenty volt synthetic. I think it's gonna take like four, uh, four quarts or something, and uh, this is the oil filter number. Thing is almost done draining, so I'm gonna try and pop this oil filter off. Might need the pliers or something. The filter is loose. can take it off now all right put it in Of course, first check, there's no extra gasket left over there. 17 mil bolt. And just like that. So this is all done. Now we can put back our plate. Alright, so the plate actually it went like this. Just like so, and then you get your fasteners. One here, like that. Another one over there. And the third one goes over there. Start them by hand now. Let's tighten them with the screwdriver. Our fresh oil. I'm just using this really long um, funnel. I don't have anything else. So let's start putting oil in this thing. Don't go crazy. Slowly. We're just gonna put uh, probably 3.7 uh, cords for now. I'm not exactly sure how much it takes. I think it's like four and a half or something, but we're just gonna put three, like three and a half or something first, start it up and then see where we at. All right, let's go and check the level. Then there was, the dipstick was uh, literally like, there was nothing on it. So now, after I added like a little bit more, as you can see, it's on the mark. You don't want to go too, too much with it. And we can just put it back now.